You know, I mean, George George played in the first half, so we needed him tonight. And, um, you know, I thought he was good in the first half, had a good run, and then obviously helped us a lot in the second half. And, you know, Wes, just, you know, we're – we're kind of, uh, you know, without Giannis, um, you know, looking for guys that can maybe have a body, have some size, have some physicality. Um, he just brought a little edge, um, you know, defensively. We needed to be be better in the second half. And, um, you know, it's a credit to Wes. He's always ready. He works. Um, you know, he really helped us in for that six-minute stretch uh, in the third quarter. Uh, just what do you think of your guys' ability to execute that switching scheme that you guys used in the second half? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, the guys' activity, the guys', you know, competitiveness, toughness, um, you know, it showed. Um, so, you know, overall, I thought the guys were great. Um, you know, they competed. They made it happen. Um, you know, it's a credit to, to just their toughness. And then conversely, on the other side, Drew has 21 points in the second half. A lot of it came against switches, kind of taking control of the game. What did you see from him in the second half? Yeah, he was phenomenal. You know, um, he's had some good games for us. Um, but, you know, I think um, that half and just controlling the game and, um, you know, the 11 assists, the defense, just everything. Um, you know, he put us uh, – kind of put us on his back. Um you know, he had a heck of a heck of a game, heck of a half for sure. We were talking about um, Eric was just talking about how Matthews set the tone when he came in defensively, but uh, it was ninety to seventy eight when he checked in, forty two to twenty nine in favor of the Bucks after that. And how did you think he affected the game, at least from the start, and maybe as the second, as the fourth quarter went on, when he took a little bit more of a backseat role in the offense? How do you think he affected it early with his passing and his cutting specifically? Yeah, no, it was big. I didn't, I didn't realize, you know, the score. Um, but, you know, um, the, the run to finish the third quarter, um, it was big. We, we didn't finish the first quarter well at all, the second quarter. And, you know, Wes was a big part of that, you know. And, and he and George both, you know, I think some cutting, some moving, getting inside the defense, kicking it out for threes. Um, you know, they're just, you know, Wes is a smart player. Um, and, you know, he did little things offensively, defensively. Um, guarding the post, um, you know, he did a lot of things that helped us close the gap and, you know, ultimately have the run that you're talking about. And that physicality you're talking about that he brings, did you think that that was something that was lacking or was something that really changed, especially um, the how things happened with McConnell in the second half when he entered the game? Do you think that was the, that was the difference in I mean, he only scored four points in the second half, McConnell. Yeah, no, I mean, just keeping him in front of us, keeping him out of the paint, um, you know, it was, you know, he had 25 at half. He was nine for nine. Um, so anything to try and just, you know, limit his penetration, um, limit his impact on the game. Um, and, you know, Wes just brings, like I said, a little bit bigger, the size, the physicality, um, you know, that we needed tonight. Going back to, to George Hill, he had a steal, um, and I, I think it then led to a, a three that then gave you all the lead, and it was on a switch. It was one of those switches that, that Eric was talking about. Just his, You've talked about his awareness defensively, but I'm just wondering if you could elaborate on it and what he brings in his experiences defensively. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to, uh, to really, you know, articulate. And, you know, there's steals, there's things that happen. There's just an awareness um, you know, no matter really what the scheme is, um, he's kind of seen and done everything defensively. Um, you know, his teammates trust him. You know, he communicates at a high level on that end of the court. And he's another guy that just, you know, there's a little bit of a physicality. There's a toughness, um, you know, that understands, you know, those little plays and those little things that go into winning. And with Drew, what do you think of his ability to know when the team just needs him to go at it offensively and, and to pick his moments in that way? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, he's got a tough job. You know, the point guard, you, you know, he's kind of built to be unselfish, built to take care of others. And, um, you know, sometimes we need him to flip that switch and, you know, I guess in essence, take care of us and by, by doing it himself to some degree. And he's got a He's got a great balance. Um, he felt it tonight. And, um, you know, he, he had a he had a great run, um, made some tough baskets, and that's what you need um, to win games like this. 
Hey, Mike, I, I know it starts with defense, but how how important was it for Bobby and Brooke to kind of have a bounce back offensive games after those two in Miami, especially since Miles was able to, to kind of go inside outside tonight? Yeah, no, I mean, you, you got to have some guys step up and help. And, um, you know, both both Brooke and Bobby, you know, they they had a little bit inside out. I don't I don't know if Bobby made a three, but, you know, if it felt like. You know, we were countering, um, you know, Brooke with a couple great rolls and finishes. The big, the little floater from George with about two minutes to go. Um, you know, that's that's what we need from Bobby and Brooke, um, you know, when we're going to have, you know, play without Giannis and, um, you know, Grayson, all these guys. Everybody kind of – I thought Jordan was really good. Jordan's Jordan's second half was big. So a lot of guys stepped up. You know, that's that's what happens when you when you play well and you win. 